Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So we'll look at a Friday thrift haul. We'll look at uh, some of the work I'm doing around uh, for my eBay business and we'll get an explanation on why my face looks like this. So let's check it out. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, first off, uh, my face looks like this because this morning, early this morning, uh, first thing in the morning, my wife wanted me to move some dirt into one of her flower beds. And there was like this, there was this uh, piece of wire that she had had me tie a tree in place before it was coming down in my way to where I needed to transport a, I was had like a, a wagon full of dirt I was carrying because I it was hard to roll it at that point. And the wire was right in front of me here and I'm trying to go underneath it like this, you know, I'm about to dip down this way. And there's a tree right here with a cut off, cut off tree limb at a perf perfect, you know, de degree angle like this basically at perfect stabbing angle, right? To where when I went down, I basically st stabbed myself right onto that uh, cut off tree limb. So it got me, hit me here and went all the way down and got me on my eye eyelid and everything. Fortunately, that's it. Just looks pretty mangled, but that's about it. <laughs> so I was saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a lot of videos. So I guess all those videos I make are gonna have me with a mangled face. But anyways, let's continue on. So let me show you this thrift run. I got some pretty cool stuff to include a vintage toy today. So that's, that's pretty interesting. We'll check it out. And uh, then I'll show you some of the stuff I'm listing for sale. I'm going around the room here and uh, getting some of this vintage uh, video game stuff that I've had sitting, uh, trying to get some of it rolling. All right, so got a few honorable mentions. I found some uh, Blu-rays for my collection today. Uh, one is, they're all 295. One's the Blo Boondock Saints. Uh, I remember watching that one a few times. It's a cult classic, so look forward to having that one in my collection. Everything I got a 10% military discount on. Uh, then I found The Matrix on Blu-ray. That's pretty cool. I saw this in the theater when I was uh, a teenager because it came out in 99, right? Let's see. I know it was made in the 90s. It was like revolutionary when it came out. It blew our minds whenever we saw this in the theater, I remember. So that's cool having the Blu-ray version. I don't care too much about getting the other Matrixes. This is the one that is really is really good in my opinion. And then I found Inglorious Bastards, the Qu uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. So I'm um, a big fan of Quentin Tarantino movies. Uh, so didn't have this one yet. Uh, of course, you know, with Tarantino, ultra-violent. So, uh, but they're well-made movies and uh, they end up being all, for the most part, classics. So anyways. Glad to add those three to my collection. Found one game, video game today at the thrift store, uh, $3.95. It was uh, Minecraft, the Xbox 360 edition. I see this, this one has, the disc looks fine, but it has no manual. I see this video game selling with no manual like this easily for $15, but it can sell for $15 to $20 in the condition I have it here. So for $3.95, that should be a, a nice little flip. Here's something out of the, ordinary for me. Uh, I've picked up this brand before, but I don't do it often, but uh, this is a cake uh, muffin pan. Uh, Nordic Ware dinosaur muffins pan. So it's in the shape of a dinosaur footprint and then it has all the different shaped dinosaurs in there. It does need to be cleaned. It's kind of uh, gunky in, in a few places in there. I'm gonna let it soak in water and then see if I can get all that gunk out. But it was only $1.95 plus a 10% discount. Uh, I see this selling pretty easily used for 30 bucks, including shipping. So I think that's going to be a nice little uh, item to pick up and flip. Got a couple experimental items here. They're the exact same thing. I guess I'll do a multi-quantity listing. Hopefully selling them both at once is my goal. Maybe I'll just list them together as one sale so I can just blow them out at once. These are uh, learning resources, model LER2094 uh, learning clocks like to, to for young kids to learn how to tell time. Uh, they were $2.95 a piece with my discount. Nice condition, I'll wipe them off real quick. I think I'm just gonna try to sell them as a two pack. I see, see them selling for 20 to $25 a piece. So I, uh, the weight and how much I paid for them, I don't mind selling them for 30 to $35 for both of them together. Let's see if we can do that. 
found a lot of little individual Nerf guns, uh, little pistols. I've got definitely enough today now. I, I can probably piece together that little pistol, Nerf pistol lot I wanted to do. Uh, the, the thing I like about this, there's two thrift stores of the same chain here called DAV, Disabled American Veterans. And the way they handle their like toy bins, it's basically like, I've never really been to the Goodwill bins, but it, that's how their toy bins are. They're just bunches of toys thrown in there. They do have price tags on them, but the prices are usually like 65 cents, 95 cents, $1.50, dollar ninety-five. So uh, they, I got a lot of those today. I, they, the bin was restocked, so I found some pretty good stuff, including a vintage uh, Nerf gun. So we'll take a look at this. Let me show you some of the individual pistols. I found a uh, Nerf Mega uh, Big Shock for uh, 65 cents, so that's nice. Then we got a little Nerf Snapfire for 50 cents. Uh, but everything is 10% discount on top of the prices, I tell you, of course. So I'm paying pennies for these, that's not bad. Here's a Nerf little Star Wars blaster, or I think it's Nerf, but it says Star Wars on it. Uh, 65 cents, uh, single shot little Nerf pistol. Uh, see if I can pair that with the Captain Phasma that I've been, uh, you know, at least one piece to go with it. Pretty neat little thing, I've never seen it before. Here's some bigger ones, $1.95, we got a Nerf Acker Strike Falcon Fire, not bad. Here's a $1.50 uh, Proton, uh, the Vortex Proton. And a $1.50 Nerf, I think this is Acker Strike as well, Quadrant, so I got two Acker Strike Blasters, so that's pretty neat. I might just throw all these into a pistol lot because, you know, there's parents out there that want to buy these lots of a bunch of little individual pistols so all the kids can have a pistol, you know. A couple bigger, other bigger ones. There's a really nice, clean disruptor. I love seeing these. I like to piece three or four of these together. You can make a $30, $35 sale, no problem. Uh, $1.95 for this disruptor. It's a good one. Then here's another nice one, $1.95, the Fuse Fire. This is a Nerf Zombie Strike series, but it actually shoots the discs. Of course, it's supposed to have glow-in-the-dark discs because it uh, there's a light feature. You turn on the light, so it should charge the disc as it shoots. But either way, just another nice little uh, Nerf blaster. Here's one I picked up. It's uh, Walking Dead. It's made by Busby Toys. I've sold two uh, two pack of these before uh, overseas. It was $1.95. Um, Missing the magazine, but I think I might have a magazine that will work with it. But uh, interestingly enough, I found some more Walking Dead blasters today, so we'll see what kind of lot we can do. But very clean for $1.95. Even without the magazine, I'll just see what I can do with it or hang on to it. We'll see. Uh, another $1.50 one was a uh, Nerf Vortex Praxis. Kind of dirty, but it was so cheap. Add it to the uh, Nerf Vortex lots. And here's one I haven't seen in a while. It was $1.95. It's a barrel break pretty interesting one it's uh you hit this uh, little side levers to make the barrel come out the barrel has to pull out then it cocks like that you put two more darts in back back in and you shoot it like it's like a shotgun style and then in the bins i took the price tag off because i was double checking and researching they put the price tag right on the logo here uh we have a vintage nerf max force uh a bug blaster I don't know exactly what it's called but uh, this thing looks so clean like it's brand new I can't believe the condition of it you'd think those wings would like be scratched up and everything but no so this is a actually a nerf gun so you it's 1996 you pull back and it it it's like slingshots the, the dart basically so I think these little side tentacles you can add, hold ex, a couple extra darts if you want to and uh we'll see so you load a dart and that's how it works couldn't believe that was just in the bin like that it's not the most expensive one it's only worth a uh, uh 15 to 25 dollars i would say probably around 15 to 20. but the condition is so good on this i'm going to put it up for like 25 bucks and see if i can get that because it's just in really good shape if i don't sell it i don't care it's just awesome it's an awesome vintage Nerf piece. Um, yeah, once again, it was a dollar fifty. So I was really happy with the those toy bins today. So now I got a couple of other bags from the other thrift store, uh, the Ambets thrift store. Uh, we'll look at those bags. These bags aren't bad too, actually. Uh, this bag was two ninety five only. The reason I got it is because there's a Hellfire in there, 
even though it doesn't have anything, uh, any of the uh, you know the attachment pieces, I think for 295 a Hailfire should be that's definitely worth it. So we got a Hailfire in there. Then there's just a bunch of random stuff I have to figure out. Let's see what we got. This looks like a this is actually a Batman sword. DC Comics Batman's katana sword or samurai sword or something. I'll look it up see if it's anything. Got another uh, lightsaber. Jedi Training Academy 2013 Lucas Films. Probably just go to my wife's uh, lightsaber collection. <laughs> Here's some weird little pistol that takes batteries. Don't know if that's anything, but we'll, of course I'll check all these toys. And there's just a bunch of random stuff in here. Here's a pop gun. All this stuff I'll just keep keep and have a yard sale eventually. Here's some weird little disc shooting blaster. Kind of interesting. And last but not least, there is a tiger laser tag blaster in here. I'll have to see if I can uh, flip that for anything. Uh, tiger laser tag are usually, usually, this is not the Nerf Tiger version, but uh, I mean, in a $2.99 bag, maybe I can make a little money off of this too. All right, the final bag uh, I got, it's overpriced, $7.95, but it seems like I got a possibility to have some kind of uncommon blasters in here. First off, we have uh, another disruptor. So it seems like I always find, if I find one disruptor, I find multiple throughout the day. It just always seems to happen that way. So I got another disruptor in there. How about this? And one, the, oh, this is really sharp. Oops, ah, oh, the bleeding. How about this? Ah, oh, this. Yeah. Shh. Shh. Oh. Then there was uh, one of the old school Nerf. I forgot what these things are called. Uh, if you get all the different colors of these, you can make a pretty good sale uh, and add them together. I currently have a sale like that. I think I already had the orange one though. But the reason why I had to get the bag, other than the disruptor, I guess, but that wasn't worth $7.95, but there's these two Walking Dead. Uh, I believe these are Carl's pistols. These are 2017. Now, one of them is missing the uh, little side plate there, but uh, I don't see too many of these for sale, and they're trying to get like 30 plus bucks for these things. Uh, I think it's kind of an uncommon blaster. So I picked up these two Walking Dead blasters today and then another rifle. I might just lot this stuff together See if I can make a $30 to $50 sale. Who knows? But I had to go in on it just to try out these bla these Walking Dead blasters because prior to finding these, uh, this style blaster was the only one I had ever found before of Walking Dead. So, so yeah. Ryan Inglestad, uh, blaster experts, let me know. Are these seem like they're kind of like uncommon or exclusive or something. So yeah, it was sweet. A lot of cheap Nerf, a lot of good good stuff here. Little individual merchandise pieces, good Blu-rays, video games. Man. All right, let's check out some of the stuff uh, I'm listing. Getting my eBay stuff going here. Uh, we're gonna hit the thrift store later, but I'm gonna do some sourcing while my wife's busy. Uh, unfortunately, two out of these four Panasonic uh, electronic pencil sharpeners that I got didn't work. They were $5.95 a piece too, so I paid up for these things. But I got these two listed, they work nice. And then the other two, I actually saw that this tray here sold recently for like 11, 12 bucks. So I listed the other two trays for about $10 a piece. So hopefully I can salvage a profit out of that uh, potential investment there. So I pulled out one bin of my, some old consoles. Um, uh, it had, uh, had these two Ataris and uh, these four Nintendos in it. So I have these four Nintendos, one Nintendo in my living room that I'm that is already modified and cleaned up and everything I play games on, and then these two really nice pristine condition Nintendos right here. So I'm keeping. I'm gonna keep the one. I might sell the one that I have in the living room that's refurbished. I don't know, and refurbish and refurbish these two. I'm, well, I'm definitely eventually going to refurbish them. I'm going to keep those two. And this one really here, right here is pretty clean too. It's a pretty nice one. I think I'm going to keep that one too. So I'll have four original NES consoles remaining still. And then I'm going to sell these three. 
Uh, not too long ago, I sold a big bundle of NES consoles for three hundred plus dollars, uh, but that was like unknown condition, basically, and taken apart and all sorts of stuff. These I tested all of them for power up, so these are ready to be refurbished. You know, they're just not the greatest condition on the shells. So maybe I can make a hundred plus dollar sale on these. I'm gonna sell them all together, get them out of here, and make a significant profit because these were consoles I bought over a decade ago and then also these two Ataris were in here and I don't really feel like doing too much with it I don't really feel like doing anything with Atari that was before my time actually for the most part my best friend growing up had an Atari but we, we it was before the video game craze hit that we were kind of playing it. and then we got into Nintendo so I think I'm going to list these two up, consoles up together and see how much money I can get for that I don't know what the market is for an Atari consoles right now though but uh, I don't mind going ahead and trying to move them. I'll just sell them for untested for parts and uh, try to move some of this stuff out and make a, a good profit. Oh yeah, follow up on the movie Mandy. So Mandy, Nicolas Cage movie. I said I, I got it, I was excited about it because it's an RLJE Films uh, movie. Um, it's a very dark, very violent, psychedelic uh, action slash like thriller kind of almost borderline parts of it are on borderline horror i mean uh it's interesting but it didn't live up to the hype to me uh this is an example of a movie that the trailer is like makes it seem way better the trailer was just like way better than the whole the whole movie i guess i don't know it was interesting i'm glad i got it I, i'll probably watch it again sometime but uh the dark to it like the the themed uh, the theme is very disturbing and dark and uh, it's just the, the action there's some action towards the end of the movie that makes up for it but not quite enough I don't know if that you know the build-up didn't pay off as good as I like it to it, there was some pretty cool stuff in it uh, if you like psychedelic you know kind of like uh, dark action films uh, check it out Mandy uh, if you like that kind of stuff, check it out. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. I would, I would uh, definitely get, uh, uh, I would definitely get uh, Brawl and Cell Block 99 before you got anything else. I think that one is the. It's super violent too, but it's it's awesome. <laughs> I was thinking about keeping Sega Master System stuff, but I don't have room. I don't have time. I never had Sega Master System growing up as a kid, so it's not really nostalgic to me. Nintendo original NES is nostalgic to me, so I think I'm gonna sell these Sega Master System games And then I tried to refurbish the console, but the pin connector it's a major issue Trying to get that it's not as easy to refurbish as a original Nintendo you'd have to like, actually have to desolder and they don't even make There's not a, even a marketplace that makes replacement uh, pin connectors for the Sega Master System Um. I ordered one from, I mean, it's not even the real thing. It's something that, it's just the equivalent. Uh, I ordered it from China. It finally showed up, but I'm like, I don't know. I think I just, I might be better off just to sell this and get some money for it. Because I'm probably never going to play it. And, you know, Sega Genesis is a more realistic. I have a huge collection of Sega Genesis. I think I'll have to leave it at that. So I'm going to sell the Sega Master System stuff. All right, here's everything I picked up today all in one big pile there was a lot of nice nerf guns today vintage nerf that was cool cool walking dead i uh blasters it's a little educational pieces and some video game and some honorable mentions so pretty cool all right guys well that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe let me know about any interesting ebay tips tricks finds or just leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi always appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one